So I made a video yesterday and it was about obedience. And I really sense the Holy Spirit has is really pressing into this. And this season of your life, uh, there's an emphasis on works because up until this point, even within my ministry, even within the ministry that's happening online, there is an emphasis, there has been an emphasis on hearing the word of God, hearing prophecies, hearing prophetic words, hearing words from the Lord. But the word of God says that, and I'll just read it. Don't, it is James chapter one, verse 22. And this is in the Passion Translation. It says, don't just listen to the word of truth or the word of God and not respond to it. For that is the essence of self-deception. And so I believe that the Holy Spirit is coming in and removing the spirit of confusion. And especially around Christians. Because I read so many of your comments and there are so many of you confused. And I have lived a lot of my life um, waiting. But the Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. And so the Holy Spirit has put an emphasis on our works. And there is an emphasis in this season on our works. As a body of Christ, we are not justified before God through our works. Ephesians says this, that we are, justi we are justified uh, by grace through faith. But then there's an element of how we become a witness to the world. Because James says something that feels like it's so different but it says that we are justified before men through works. And so we're justified by grace through faith, but we are, it is seen, the work of God on the inside of us has to be seen. And this is a season where God wants to be seen. It is, he, he doesn't just want to be heard. This isn't a season to just posture yourself, just hearing and listening to sermons. There are things that God has spoken over your life that he's ready for it to come out, which is why things have been feeling so intense lately. Maybe you have been feeling confused. And I just want to read some scriptures, and I'm just following the Holy Spirit, but I feel him getting stronger. But in the book of James, uh, which, to be completely honest, is, is, is my least favorite book of the Bible, but it's where the Lord is really leading me because I love hearing the word. I love the grace of God. I love, um, the, I love the areas of my life where God takes responsibility. But we're at a moment, similarly, thank you, Holy Spirit, to when he, when he said to Moses, why are you still praying? Get moving. Tell the people to get moving. It's time to obey. And this is what the Lord says, that, for the ambivalent person believes one minute and doubts the next. Being undecided makes you become like the rough seas driven and tossed by the wind. You're up one minute and then you're tossed down the next. When you are half-hearted and wavering, it leaves you unstable or restless or disengaged. And the word of God says, can you really expect to receive anything from the Lord when you're in that condition? God is shaking up your life. He is shaking things up and he wants you to get into a place where you obey him. Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you love me, you'll do what I say. He became your sin, so you are freed from your sin. Sin died with Christ 2,000 years ago. We have been restored unto God through Christ. And this is what the Lord highlighted, and I believe, and I want to prophesy this over your life, because your life has been surrounded by failure. Maybe you have turned back. I've seen people say in the comments, I've backslid and I've turned to sin. This is a moment where God is about to turn it around. If you hear what I'm about to say. And I wanna prophesy this over your life. But it says, if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and he will give it to you. He won't see your lack of wisdom as an opportunity to scold you over your failures. And this is what he highlighted. But it says, he will overwhelm your failures with his generous grace. And I wanna prophesy over this season, over this moment, wherever you are in the world, God is about to overwhelm 
Even now, I just, I feel the spirit of prophecy. He is overwhelming your failures with his generous grace. 2,000 years ago, when Jesus Christ was beaten, unrecognizable, those thoughts that you've had, he took on the crown of thorns, he shed his blood, he became sin so that you may be righteous. He's overwhelming you right now with his grace. He's overwhelming your failures. He sees so much more in you than you can see in yourself. But I want to read what the Lord has, has given me. And he's, and he's really stern right now. This is an emphasis. There's no condemnation. There's no guilt. There's no shame. But something major is coming. And any good parent, if, if, if a parent, thank you, Holy Spirit, if you're a parent and you see something about to happen in your child's life, if you knew it was about to happen, you wouldn't be timid. You would obey and you would tell your child to keep them from being hurt. But the Lord says, it's time to make up your mind. Are you in or are you out? I want to speak to those who are unstable, the tossed back and forth people. The Lord says it's being undecided that's causing the confusion. <clears throat> It's being undecided that's making you doubt. It's being undecided that's making you restless. It's being undecided that's making you disengaged and uninterested in life. Being, become decided again. Become decided again. This is a moment of decision. This video is not an accident. I understand that there's an algorithm, but I understand that God is moving through the internet. I've seen it time and time and time again. This is no accident that you're seeing this. And the Lord Jesus, if you haven't made a decision, if you've been on the fence with Jesus, if you've been in sin, whatever it may be, this is a time to make a decision to come before Christ and to allow him to be your life and to the things and the areas, the doors he's asking you to close, close them, obey him. Whatever commands that he's given you, obey them like your life depends on it. And, and we are not justified, and I wanna highlight this, we're not justified through our works. So this isn't um, a condemning voice, but God moves through our obedience. He moves, it gives space in our life for the spirit of God to come forth. There's no other way apart from our obedience for the life and the faith of God to come forth. So I pray you're catching that and that you don't feel condemned by that. I believe even some of you are just catching a revelation of why you need to live holy, why you need to obey him. And this is what the Lord ended with. And he said, tie yourself to me and watch what happens. I will never fail you or abandon you. And I will be with you to the end. Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 11. He says, are you tired? Are you burnt out on religion? Are you weary? Come unto me, yoke yourself to me, which means you need to give up your rights. You need to yoke yourself to Christ and in the ways that he says, do it. James says this at the beginning of this, we're all a slave to something. So hear this, everyone is yoked to something. But this is what James says, and I love this. He greets and opens the letter with this. He says, I'm a love slave of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has willingly tied himself and given up his rights to receive the fullness of Christ. And this is a moment where you have that. And if you make a decision, your life is never going to be the same. God is releasing his grace upon this video. This is the grace of God you see in this because there's something coming. There's tragedy. There's, there are good things. There are good things that you may miss out on. The children of Israel, this happened for them. They missed the promise because they didn't obey. And so I pray, Holy Spirit, as this video comes to an end, that you just um, make alive these words, that you would cause them to settle in their heart and that you would give them the strength and the grace to obey you and to listen to you. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. I want you to comment, I want you to receive this, and I want you to obey more than just comment and receive it in your spirit today. I love you.